I'm Dan Ackerman and we are taking a very first look at the Acer Aspire S7. This is a very thin, very light Ultrabook. Uh, it's got a very nice minimalist white design and on the back something we've seen very rarely. It's a glass back of the lid right here. We've actually only seen that on the HP Envy Spectre. Uh, here it is again. Uh, it's Gorilla Glass so it's actually very sturdy. You might be a little concerned about having glass on the back of the lid. Uh, it didn't really bother me. But it's not just another cool Ultrabook, it's actually something surprising. It is one of the very first laptops that we've seen built with Windows 8 in mind. That's right, it's got Microsoft's not Metro interface. I'm not even sure what they're going to end up calling this. And it's not just a laptop they slap Windows 8 on. It's designed with Windows 8 in mind, which means that it has a touch screen. And you can use that to scroll through the uh, Windows 8 interface. And of course, you can use it to scroll up and down web pages and do a lot of things that you do with a normal touchpad. It, of course, also has a touchpad. When I was playing around with it, I found that I would use the touchpad most of the time, but occasionally I'd find myself reaching out and, let's say, flicking up and down a screen or tapping something to open it. So the touch screen is really natural for navigating through the Windows 8 interface where you may have a lot of programs open and you can flip through them just by going like that and dragging the program on there. If you want to see which programs you have open, it's a little bit of a more complicated move. It's kind of a little bit out and in like that, and then you'll see that. And that's actually a lot easier on the screen than it even is with the touchpad. One of the smart things that people are doing now with touchscreen Windows 8 laptops that maybe they didn't do in older touchscreen laptops, which we saw one or two every year, is the hinge. Feels like a normal hinge like this, but when you hit about this angle, it actually gets much stiffer, which means you can reach out and touch the screen, and it's not going to move the screen as much. The keyboard is a little bit shallow. This is a very thin laptop, and that's what happens sometimes. Uh, I like a little more travel in my keys. I found myself making a lot of typing mistakes. Uh, but the touchpad, fairly responsive for multi-touch gestures, not really that much super improved over what I've seen in current Windows 7 laptops, and certainly still not quite as fluid as Apple is with the touchpad moves. As an ambassador for new built from the ground up Windows 8 laptops, uh, the Acer Aspire 7 does a really good job of sort of selling the concept of Windows 8, especially when you use the touch screen together with the touch pad. Uh, that said, even though this is a very thin, very light, very premium feeling laptop, they're looking for about $1,400 for this. I know it's got an Intel Core i7 processor and an HD display. Uh, that's still a very, very premium price, something a lot of people are not willing to touch. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Acer Aspire S7.